Hello class, I'd like to welcome you to week five. And um, I made an earlier video and then there was no sound. So I hope that the sound comes through on this one. Um, and so, um, anyhow, I just want to say that I think that you handled the discussions well for um, the due to the sensitivity of the topic uh, um, on ancient Israel. And um, I just want to clarify, I did mention this, I did comment in the discussions, but the Merneptha Steely did not mention David uh, and Solomon. Uh, it only mentioned Israel as a people, and that's what makes it significant, okay? And, um, and so, anyhow, I just kind of want to restate something, because somebody was mentioning that the Bible is the most criticized book in the world, or critiqued, or analyzed. That may or may not be true. Um, I think what, what kind of th there's a situation that makes it unique to some of the other places of in, in the world. So for instance, we're going to be discussing Hinduism and uh, Buddhism this week, and um, there's a, a slightly different set of circumstances. One, the Bible really emphasizes that history is important, and it's saying that the characters and the lamb and everything about the narrative is important to geography and to history. And then we have a very specific location with pottery and texts of literate societies outside of this area that occasionally we find commentary or not, uh, or, Im or information or not, uh, dealing with these stories in the same time periods in which they're talking uh, about them with. And so this creates a unique situation uh, um, in which it's also complicated because, for instance, in Christianity, what's so essential is that the Messiah comes from the line of King David. And then we question the line of King David. Well, then, that obviously has an implication for Christianity. So it's, it is a, there's no way to get around the sensitivity of the topics. And, you know... What I was hoping that you guys would do, and which I saw most of you do in the text, is you just simply understood, you seemed to show an understanding of what's going on in this discussion and why, okay? And as some, one of the other students talked about, well, faith not being something that requires evidence. There's a lot of different ways that people feel or approach the topic of, of this, right? And, you know, each society has to deal, in, in a certain sense, uniquely with the issue of history and their own uh, belief systems. So for example, we're talking about Hinduism and Buddhism in ancient India uh, this week. Currently, there is a trend, um, the, 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 the far right politically in India has been taking shape that very much wants to see India as a very strictly and uniquely Hindu society and it's especially not Muslim in their view, even though that Islam has played such a prominent role uh, for so long. Um, you take someone like Mahatma Gandhi, who is very popular in India uh, uh, with certain segments of Hindus, certain segments. Um, but I, I had a, a friend once when I was in college. Uh, he's a, a Punjabi background. His religion of his family is Sikh. And he said a pejorative term towards uh, Gandhi and shocked one of the other friends and he said I hate that guy and I did research on Gandhi's relationships with the Sikhs and he said they're just a version of Hindus and Sikhs are uh, one of the newer religions of India but they certainly don't see themselves that way and it's interesting even the last video that I showed that talks about the three great religions of India Hinduism, uh, Buddhism and Jainism does not mention Sikhism um, and so, you know, each society, I guess is what I'm saying, has a type of historical narrative that, um, you know, there, there are certain groups of historians that analyze a given country and deal with topics of culture and religion that don't always jive well with everyone, is what I'm trying to say. And it's not just unique to the topic of ancient Israel. So that, that's the main points that I wanted to make clear. Um, so I hope that you will find this a, a kind of an interesting and fun transition for a bit. Very jarring, maybe, to some of you to go right from where we were 
talking about something that at least for many of us in the, the uh, in the Western world um, are familiar with, uh, you know, some exposure to the Bible, to then, phew, so many of you are not. Now, some of you, my students are actually born Hindus and um, are Buddhists. And um, so then that's different now, right? So in any case, I hope you find all this very interesting. If you have any issues or concerns or thoughts, please, again, send them my way. And I think you guys are doing great. And have a good week.